I was 16 years old when I joined the Army and it's just something I always wanted to do. From when I was a young age I joined cadets and just followed it up by joining the Junior Leaders Regiment and then going through into man service. So at the age of 22 I was involved in a road traffic accident which ripped two nerve roots out of my spine and basically it's paralysed me in the upper part of my arm and shoulder. They put me straight onto the morphine so I couldn't feel much but they did actually tell me I'd never walk again. My attitude towards doing stuff was it wasn't going to beat me. I am still someone who can be employed within the army. So I completed my whole career, but I did most of it as a disabled person. I didn't realise how determined I was until I'd been put in this situation. This is the way the cards have been dealt and it's the way my life's got to go. One of the officers came up to me after my accident and says, why don't you go skiing again? So I thought, why not? Tried it, uh, found my love for it again. I skied in the 1998 Paralympics in Nagano, Japan. It's one of those things you can't put into words. It's just one of those feelings of being there and people around you are in the same situation. It's just a, how the atmosphere is. It's just fantastic. I've not skied another Paralympics since 98, but I am the last person to ski for Great Britain since the Japan Olympics. It was a massive relief knowing that I could still do sport, do stuff. It's, it's been part of the, um, the recovery, really just means I'm getting on getting on with my life. I'm not letting it stop me from doing it. I'm enjoying the sport and doing it the best I can.